Back to tr- okay. Now I've got to ask you the one question that I know that you've. No, well, I don't know, but you must have been asked this a bazillion times over the last okay. year or so. We've got okay. Tron Legacy coming out at the end of this year. Yep. Yep. Jeff Bridges is in the film. Bruce right. Boxleitner is in the film. The question right. everyone asks, and I know you keep getting asked, and it is my duty to ask you this question is, why are you not in this film? Well, I wasn't in the room when whoever made that decision made that decision. I worked as an associate producer, and i got to tell you, so many decisions are made on arbitrary basis but that mm-hmm. there's no accounting for the decision. But what has happened, and I don't know if you guys have caught it, but there's there's an un, a groundswell of fan reaction to it. Um, the character I played in the in the computer world is named Yori. Mm-hmm. And a year ago at Comic Con, um, they Disney put out this thing called Flynn Liz. They wanted to create a viral campaign to support the film that Jeff Bridges' character disappeared. So the people, uh, a lot of people I knew hanging around, just said, "Well, we're going to say Yori Liz." I said, "Well, I said, well, this is silly. Who cares?" But I was my, uh, they said, well, who was in the movie? And I, and I had the Tron poster on the floor, and my cat, Moosey, rolled over on the poster and was playing with something, and I snapped a photo, and I said, okay, Moosey fights for the users. I said, put it up online and make a Tron a fan photo contest out of it. We got thousands and thousands and thousands of followers. It got crazy. It, it, it's to the point where the Yori Liz campaign is so strong, it's been mentioned in the LA Times. The press picked it up. Fans are c- contributing original artwork, original animation. Uh, they're, they're, the fans have, to the point where Disney brought me out to WonderCon to participate. They killed me in the video game. They brought me back up to life. <laughs> Actually, I was in the series called Bring Them Back Alive, but that's another story. <laughs> they, they brought me back to life for this, this, this thing at WonderCon. So that was interesting. I did that with Bruce in character. And now, boys and girls, I'm going to Comic-Con again in two weeks. And uh, the guy who's – I've, I've only got volunteers working for me, and I think that's why this campaign's working so well. There are no mercenaries. Everybody who's working with me does this just because they want to be doing it. They, mm-hmm. Charity Shack is a lifestyle. Tron is more of a, 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 a spiritual attack to the film. <laughs> and um, uh, in two weeks, I'm going there, and uh, he's called Disney, and he said, so you brought us into WonderCon uh, to work with you. Uh, what do you want us to do? And uh, they haven't returned his call. So as it stands, I don't have a date for the prom, but I got a ticket, and I'm going. Nice. Huh. Well, I'm sure. Now, when you, you've you been to uh, Comic-Con and things like this before, what is the reaction? What's it like to encounter the Tron fan? Because i got to imagine. Oh, that's, it's, that's... It's, it's unbelievable. I, I, honestly, at first. When I first started doing stuff like this, I, 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 you know, I'm like you guys. You know, you go to work, you do your job, you come home, and you're like, that's it. You know, right. you, 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 you leave it behind you. Um, I, I, that's that, that's what you do for a living. I had no idea, and I don't really want, even want to think thoughts like that. That you know, but people come up and to the tables and they go, because of Tron, it meant this to me. Oh, Honestly, what's really cool is more and more women, young women, are coming up and saying, I like that character in Tron. Action chick flick, pick this up, and, and they want to do a panel about how you know, more women should be in, in stronger roles. And, and um, it's, it's the most wonderful thing in the world. And guys, the, the, the sweetest autograph I ever signed was, somebody said, would you sign this to my father, to my son, and to myself? <laughs> Too cute. <laughs> Is that the sweetest thing in the whole world? So I got to tell you, it's so humbling and so I don't know what to say about it. I, honestly, I'm still I, I'm still confused because my, according to my agents, managers, and pretty studio exec guys, uh, you know, I, I'm not working, so I'm writing the books on it, which is really what I wanted to do for, since I was five. I really wanted to be a writer. A writer. But, but uh, when I was five years old, I had a little column uh, in first grade called Ghost Writer. With a little, I, I understood the double entendre. I had a little ghost on a horse. I thought it was really funny. <laughs> so, so to a five-year-old, that's hilarious. So, 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 but, but to have people come up and and tell me what they what they feel about Caddyshack or Tron, it's it, it it's it, it just. Can you guys imagine somebody say, "I listened to a talk show you did, and that show was thirty years ago, and because of that show." It affected me, and I'm doing this today because of that. Or I feel a certain way, or I I held tough under tough circumstances because of 
a story I heard you say on your show. That How would really you guys cool. feel about that? I mm-hmm. would feel like amazing, honestly. <laughs> like I'd be like, okay, do you want to come over? I'll make you some dinner. Yeah, exactly. I know you want. You, exactly. you, you want to take exactly. the person home. Now you know how I feel. Now, mm-hmm. n- now you understand, and, not, and and now you know how 